A teen who became trapped in a Northeast Heights Arroyo yesterday survived thanks to the quick thinking of three first responders. The Arroyo near Louisiana and I-40 was full of rushing water, leaving the girl fighting to get out. Today we spoke with the two Albuquerque police officers and an off-duty firefighter who rushed to help her. I, when I came over the edge, I realized how, how deep it was. Uh, it's a little scary. He asked if I had any rope, uh, which I knew I didn't have anything in the trunk or any rope in the trunk, but I opened it to see what I had and I had a couple of rain jackets, uh, tied the sleeves together, and that's what we were able to lower down. And as you can see on the Pell video, it worked. The 16-year-old was able to grab on and the men were able to haul her up and out. So how did this all start? Police say the teen was playing in the Arroyo about two, two and a half miles upstream. The off-duty firefighter was driving home from the doctor and heard the commotion. He called for help and the officers improvised a plan to get her out. The teen was a little banged up from her ride down the Arroyo. Officers say she was dangerously close to being swept into the bigger Arroyo that runs along I-40. Many of you are calling her rescuers heroes, but it's a term all three shrugged off today. It's part of the job. I didn't think twice about it. I don't necessarily care for all the recognition, uh, but I'm just glad that she's safe. AFD says they typically carry a 75-foot rope for rescues like this one. They had to use them to save a man from an arroyo near Morningside and Cutler minutes before the teen went into the water.